It can be an intimidating time to learn something new, but thanks to the new user interface of Twinmotion, we don't have to worry too long. If you're a new user to Twinmotion or even new to 3D visualizations, this is a great place to start and I want to share with you real quick some avenues to help you learn the ropes. Sometimes learning at your own pace by clicking around an existing project is a great tool to quickly get you up to speed. Fortunately, Twinmotion has a few demo projects that are set up ready for you to run through. Let's go to File, Demo Projects, and begin with Materials Room. The goal of this project is simple, to show off materials. Well, not just the materials themselves, but how they react to their surroundings such as light, shadows, reflections, and more. This is also a good opportunity for you to open up the materials doc to discover the different materials used in this sort of showcase and how each of the material attributes, or in this case, texture maps for a material, can be edited or adjusted. Another good factor of this demo is discovering the various forms of lighting and not just emissivity of materials, but actual lights with proper distribution data attached to it, such as IES information that you would get from a program like Revit. There are many other factors in this demo worth investigating, such as the character models, fluttering life, but also understanding how time of day can not only affect the sun, but timing of certain lighting effects. And with these materials and lights, be sure to try out the path tracer and play around with the different samples of detail so you understand that the low quality is good for quick and dirty proof renderings, while the high settings lets a scene show its true potential. The next demo project is the Lake House Retreat. This project is an elegantly designed modern retreat overlooking a lake. With this demo packs a great deal of information to uncover, but it holds a great baseline for typical deliverables to a client. First thing to go through is the scene graph and how it's been organized from the project to the terrain, vegetation, rocks, and more. Good organization is key to streamlining your efficiency when filling in the scene with assets and materials. Open up each container to discover how the scene was shaped together. For example, a good area to study is the vegetation container and how the foliage and grass were painted in. Adjust some of the procedural settings, paint and erase different elements to see instant results. You'll likely want to spend most of your time inside the house as it is packed full of details such as the ability to have the doors swing open on approach, even down to the detail of door hardware. You can go through and select various hardware sets to get a good feel for the right set to pair perfectly with your design. This demo showcases a wide variety of these assets and this is a good opportunity to explore those. Probably the biggest tool this demo provides is the understanding of the media doc. Navigating there, you see there are several images, videos, panoramas, and even a presentation set already put together as you can learn how each and every one of them was set up in the properties panel. Not to mention the comparison shots between real-time rendering and path tracing are worth exploring. These demo scenes were put in place for you to easily learn by getting your eyes right onto some finished content and it allows you to go through the various elements at your own pace. But if you are the type that enjoys following along step by step on a project from start to finish, we'll be doing just that. So stay tuned for more and I'll see you soon.